Hi, it's um, 1 p.m. Oh my god! And I'm finally ready to wake up. I know that auto look really good because <clears throat> I stayed up till like 5 a.m. or 4. So I guess it's finally time to get the homeschooling stuff. Okay, so first thing I have to do in the morning is to make my bed. I used to start my day with uh, social media, which I highly don't recommend at all, as it makes you less productive. So after I'm done with making my bed, I'm trying to make myself look like a human, you know, just brushing my teeth, washing my face. I'm sure I do this as well. If I have some time, I make out a shower or just wash my hair. Finally, I feel alive, although I'm still kind of sleepy. I'm going to apply my Fairy Korean Cosmetics to moisturize my skin, and if I'm in the mood, I can do my makeup as well. Oh, and also, I forgot to say that I wear contacts because I have truly awful vision. So eventually I decided to do a makeup but I didn't record every step so if you want to see my makeup routine just let me know in the comments. You know guys, I just realized that I haven't told you that I'm not actually doing like online school stuff. I have switched to homeschooling due to some family circumstances and I just really wanted to clear what's the difference between these two forms of studies. So if you're really considering to switch to homeschooling, you have to be aware of the fact that it's really hard, like it's hard AF and I'm not even lying. You have to pay the attention to the webinars, you have to seek for the information yourself and no one's going to do that for you. That's simple. So I spend around like four or five hours a day learning information, making some kind of notes, watching webinars, and honestly, it's a lot more exhausting than just going to Zoom sessions. I'm going to show you like the platform that I'm working with, and hopefully it's going to be useful for you if you're considering to switch to homeschooling. But my personal advice, if, if you have a choice, just don't. I have a full-time job, which requires me to be like uh, around my laptop all the time, and that is basically why I have switched to homeschooling. It's literally... 2 p.m. and I haven't even had a breakfast yet and I'm starving so let's go to the kitchen you know I think that I'm going to call this video something like productive school routine but it seems that it's not productive at all and I really apologize for that but for me I'm just lucky if I wake up at least at 12 p.m. Welcome to my kitchen guys. I'm that kind of person who usually tends to skip breakfast so yeah after 10 minutes of critical thinking I finally decided to make myself a milkshake with banana. This kind of recipe is very easy for people who usually don't have much time in cooking or for people who just like me like to skip their breakfast but still if you're starving that's not really cool. Okay, so I'm almost done with my breakfast, and I guess it's kind of time to pay some attention to studies. Hi, I'm here again. Before starting your study session, please make sure that your place looks really good. I have some breakfast here left, I have my water here left, also an artificial candle which motivates me to study a lot, and you know, I don't have to worry about that, it's going to catch and fire my entire place. 
Uh, I have my laptop here, which I use for uh, webinars and for studies in general. Also, uh, my MacBook, which I use for uh, my full-time job. And I also like to turn on some Pomodoro sessions here. And I will show you how it looks uh, when I study. That was the end of my small tour. And I hope you like it. And let's get to the study session. Oh, God. I promised you guys that this is going to be a real school routine, so this is my real emotions after my study session. So it's been a couple of hours. I've been studying some subjects for my SAT and I'm ready for a good break. I prefer to play ukulele or watch some Netflix, sometimes to play chess, but now I decided to play ukulele for your bed if you don't mind, of course. So. It's 6 p.m. here and I'm definitely ready to go get something to eat because I'm starving. <laughs> For my dinner, I decided to cook a chicken breast with thumb seasoning and avocado salad. This meal is very healthy, but I still need to create a much better schedule as I'm not really satisfied with the amount of food I eat. And please remember, you have to eat at least three times a day. It's 8 p.m. here and this is my last study session for today. Here I'm preparing for my IELTS exam. I have to write at least three essays. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you like it. And if you have some ideas for my next videos, please write me in comments down below. Don't forget to follow me. Oh my god, did I really say follow me? Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much guys and see you in the next video.